again, going back to school looks a little different this year. One change you'll certainly notice is the rise in the price of supplies. They're going up. KNBC 9's Donna Pittman reached out to experts to find out why we're paying so much more this year. Picking pencils, flipping folders, and bagging the right bag. Back to school shopping is as exciting as ever, but a bit more expensive this year. The good news is from most economists, they are expecting this to be a short-term issue. Catherine Cullen is the Senior Director for Industry and Consumer Insights at the National Retail Federation. She says that this has been coming since the pandemic began. We really saw, you know, really from the offset of the of the pandemic that the retail industry in particular has been hit by a number of supply chain issues, factories closing down or more recently issues with just getting enough cargo containers as well as congestion at the ports. It's something retailers have been working on consistently over the last year. But one of the challenges is that new issues keep popping up. Still, Colin says people are spending, excited to get to class. Electronics are big but so are clothes. Like a lot of adults, kids spent a lot of the last year at home. Um, not only did they grow during that time, but they're also getting ready to head back to school in person for the most part, at least that's the expectation right now. And they need new clothes for that. As encouraging as the good news is that industry experts predict this won't last long, what are families doing now? About half of back to school and college shoppers said that they were planning to use some of the stimulus money they had received or even money from the recent child tax credit. Beyond that, Colin says, look at buying what you can secondhand and take advantage of tax-free holidays. Donna Pittman, KNBC 9 News. You're in luck. Missouri's tax-free weekend is coming up Friday, August 6th through Sunday the 8th.